Hello, welcome to Tech Web Dots. Today, I am going to discuss human interaction pattern with very easy code example. And this example is one of the very important pattern of Azure Durable Functions. Okay, so let's move ahead without wasting time. So as you can see, all the green sections I have already covered in my previous recorded session and all the important links you can check in the description of this video and all the white one I will cover in my upcoming videos. And this is the one, the highlighted one that I'm going to discuss today. Okay, so there are some prerequisites that I strongly recommend you to check this. Maybe you can take a pause of this screen and you can check everything. If I quickly go through, so you can see a Visual Studio 2019 or higher version is required and Azure Emulator should be installed on your machine if you are working locally and Azure CLI tools and if there is no subscription, so you can create one. So let's move ahead. So. As you can see, according to this picture is given by Microsoft, what it is saying, we are requesting for the approval and there is some human interaction required. And if after waiting for a certain time, there is no response, then we can escalate. And if we receive response, then we can process for another function. But what is according to definition given by Microsoft? Any automated processes involve some kind of human interaction. Involving humans in an automated process is tricky because people are not as highly available as responsive as cloud services, which is actually true. An automated process might allow for this interaction by using timeouts and compensation logic. Okay. An approval process is an example of a business process that involves human interaction. Approval from a manager might be required for an expense report. I mean, maybe some important decision that exceeds a certain dollar amount. If the manager doesn't approve that expense report within 72 hours, maybe manager went on vacation and escalation process kicks in to get the approval from someone else. Maybe the manager's manager. So you can implement this pattern by using an orchestration function and the orchestration uses a durable timer. Durable timer means we will wait for a specific time to request for approval. The orchestrator escalates if timeout occurs that we can manage. The orchestrator waits for an external event. This is very important. Waits for an external event such as notification that is generated by a human interaction. Yes, it seems very exciting, but yes, we will discuss each thing step by step. So how our function will look like. So as you can see, as we will create an orchestration trigger. Okay. And we will have durable context here. And in that we are seeking, we are calling a one activity in the dead orchestration, which is request approval. And then we are adding a time. How much time we want to wait? 72. And then we are waiting for external event. And if we are getting result true, then we are canceling timeout and just calling the approval or process approval activity. Otherwise, we are calling the escalate activity, right? So what are the key points from this? So to create durable timer, what we are using context.createTimer. Okay, this is important. Okay, we, what we are using context.createTimer here. The notification is received by context, wait for external event, right? Then task when any is called to decide whether to escalate or not. Timeout happens first or the process approval. So the process is received before time or you can say the approval received before time. Note, there is no charge for the time spent waiting for external event when running in consumption plan. So it is again pay as you go model, right? The things that you are consuming for the time only for that you are paying. Orchestration functions have the ability to wait and listen for external event. And this feature of durable function is often useful for handling human interaction or other external triggers. And the another very important point, external events are one way asynchronous of operations. These are not suitable for situations where a client sending the events and needs a synchronous response, right? There is no direct request response, but it is a event based. 
okay and this response from the orchestration function so i hope i have discussed all the important points now it's time to jump into the visual studio and we will see all these things in action this is my visual studio and in my all previous video session i use the same template of azure functions project and if you are not aware about that i strongly suggest you to watch the starting videos of the series let's add the durable function to creating our human interaction pattern i have made some code adjustment here I have just commented out these functions because I want to see only those functions that I really want to use in this session. Okay, so let me close this file. Okay, so what code adjustment I have made here. Okay, so let's go one by one. So at the top of it, we can see this is our orchestration client. Okay, this is nothing which is starting my orchestration okay and this is my first orchestration function that i want to call which is approval workflow okay and here i am saying to start and here i am passing this id i am passing this http request to start it okay because this is the http start and here i am checking just start my orchestration and check for status response and if you will see here in this approval workflow now i will you know just reconcile everything what we have seen in the slides so here is our i orchestration context okay which will help us to call the different different sub activities so what activity we are calling from here the request approval okay and in request approval activity what we can send you can pass important data that you want to send in your request approval maybe it can be email it can be sms or in return you can get some secret response as well right like a phone number verification code or anything so for example you are writing some mail and you prepare some stuff that you want to send over an email so you can pass that object as well in this request approval activity so we will call it from here okay and let's have a look what actually we will do in this request approval if you will go here this is my request approval this is my activity trigger and as of now like i am sending a hard-coded string which is email which will be received by this activity trigger which is of a string type and we are using one logger okay so here what you can do you will receive the email content and from here you can use some twilio uh, sms service or you can send email and or you can send any verification code to the person from whom you want to receive the approval okay this is your true to task or you can log this information and just return it now you have requested the approval maybe you are the person who are going to approve and you have received the email now maybe in that email you will create a link so through that the person can approve and maybe you are the person who received some verification code and how I, I will verify how I will get the approval from you once you will respond on that okay so how it's going to happen what we are using we are using this disposable block and we are creating a cancellation token okay and here user has three days to respond to the email okay when we are talking about three days it means we are ready to wait for 72 hours okay so first we are creating a due time so how much due time we want to provide so we are context dot current utc date time and add hours okay so we are going to wait for 72 hours now it's time to create the durable timer that i was talking about so context dot create timer here i am passing the due timer and i am passing the cancellation token okay now next thing is notification is received by so what my this durable orchestration is waiting for it is waiting for this event to happen okay and when this will event happen when you as a approver will take some action on that notification okay so we will wait for the external event okay we are waiting for this approval event and on the next line what we are doing we are using task dot when any what is the meaning of when any a task that represents the completion of one of the supplied task okay it means we have two tasks i will tell you what and the return task result is the task completion maybe 
this approval event is completed means this approval event is raised or maybe the durable timeout happen what do you mean by durable timeout happen is means already we have waited for 72 hours okay in that case it will receive the completion okay and once it is inside means if it is not completed it means it is already time out it will go to the else block because our request is not completed and it will this condition will be false okay in that case it will call what activity escalated one okay and if you receive the result if it is true then it goes to inside block and it will cancel out the timer because we have already received the response and it means the approval event is raised and here we can also check for approval event or result is otp whatever we are getting as a result okay maybe in response you send some code so that we are saving in response of this when that when this event will be raised and here we on the basis of approval we are calling the process approval so we have already seen this request approval okay and this event will be raised so let's see in the on these activities how they look like process approval and escalate one so in process approval you can maybe if we can send some flag we can check okay if it is approved just perform the approved operation and if it is not approved you can just block the information it is rejected or you can perform some additional activity so this is what we are doing in process approval and what we are doing in escalate we are sending in another email maybe the manager's manager to get the approval okay so these two things are happening here i believe everything is clear till this point okay and at the end now the very important part is how we will raise this event so as i said we can raise this event either with the http trigger or we can call it through rest api as well but for that let me first run the solution and see how it looks like so after running the solution this is our well-known window okay here we can see the activity triggers which is request approval we have seen process approval we have seen escalate we have seen right and we have one orchestration trigger okay now to start our orchestration trigger what we are using here we are using a http trigger okay that will initiate the orchestration and orchestration will start calling the sub activities okay so what we will do simply we will just copy this url from here okay and paste it into the browser and before that let me put some important breakpoints as well so you can see all these things in action so let me break breakpoint here approval workflow okay and let me pick one more here approve when it's you know when we are getting true it means when our request is completed okay and yes these all we can see i strongly recommend you to take this piece of code and just run it yourself okay so let's go back to the browser so this is my browser and i am using a extension in chrome to request okay so i just paste my request here don't focus here this is the old response and if i click on send okay so now it is on waiting okay now we have received the response here but actually my breakpoint is activated now right and where we are where we are in approval workflow okay and if i press f10 over here so you will see we are calling first activity request approval okay and that activity is started and then we are in this we are waiting for 72 hours due time is created now we have created the what we have created our durable time out okay and here we will wait for this event approval event okay and when it is completed only then it will come inside here okay let me break break point inside and if it will fail if it if this condition is not true then it will come here but we will go with the happy path or with the happy scenario means when this approval event is raised okay so how we gonna raise let me show you so this part we have already completed we are not in the blocked stage this request is completed so let's go back to the browser as you can see 
this is 202 accepted our request is completed okay and if you want to check the status of this okay so what we can do simply we can just copy this URL right so if you want to check the status of that okay so I am just copying this URL okay and just going to create one more here place the URL and hit enter okay if I hit enter send the request so what it is saying currently it is running a state okay it is not completed yet and what is the name of the activity it is approval workflow okay now I am raising this event and what actually we need to pass here in this request only the instance ID of my function to raise the approval event what we need to do we just need to copy this HTTP request okay I will just copy this URL okay and just go here and just paste it over here okay so the name of the post URL is why we are doing post because we want to send the ID of my orchestration trigger as well okay so we are passing here okay this orchestration trigger required this additionally we can send more information as well maybe the requested OTP code and this action is taken by the user okay so we can provide that interface to the user and the moment I will click on send see again we are here and this time we will note down our raise event is completed okay now you can see we are here right my event is completed id is this is status is run to complete okay and the result is true so it means we can cancel the timeout and then we can call what we can call the next activity which is process approval so if i go here place the pick point over here okay and hit next okay so it should call the process approval and we can see is approved true so on the basis of this we can take the decision right and we can log the information so i believe i have shared all the possible positive scenario and the happy path scenario and i strongly recommend you to take the latest piece of code and run this piece of code on your machine and do as much as experiment you can okay i hope you like this logic you like this new pattern so let's go back to the presentation important point is an external client can deliver the event notification to a waiting orchestrator function that we have just seen in the practical demo by using the built-in http api right and how if you really want to you know perform through other tools so this is another way we are just passing true and we are giving the name of approval event and we are saying okay content type is application json so this is another way and second way is that as i already said http trigger you can also use so event can also be raised using durable orchestration client right this is client from another function in the same function app so i hope you like this video if you have any question suggestion you can drop me into the comment box i will try to respond on that as soon as possible and i will wait for your feedback that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos and i will see you in the next video where we will discuss the aggregator which is a stateful entity it is another exciting pattern which is available under durable functions so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye